so uh, Jeff Thompson a rather dramatic and unproductive first spell and shortly afterwards his famous partner Dennis Lilly struck the first blow Sadiq on four gets a tremendous in-swinging Yorker that was the end of Sadiq the score was 15 for one and then 20 overs still to go and just over a hundred needed so it's uh, five and over Pakistan are doing it easily at the moment. Bowled him. That's well bowled by Lilly. A good effort coming back for his seventh over, and that is the wicket the Australians needed. Uprooting the off stump. Good piece of bowling, a ball of full length. And that is a cruel blow to Pakistan. Asi Pickball, what I thought was a magnificent innings for 53. Out now bowled by Dennis Lilly. 181 for five now. Pakistan still not out of it, but they would have liked to have kept Asi Pickball there for quite a few more overs. They're all going up. Lily's got another. Another catch for Rodney Marsh behind. The end of Safraz pretty swiftly. No score. Seven down, 189 the total. Really waving at that one. A pretty good ball. That's in the air. Max Walker is coming round under it. And there could be trouble here. Blow. Walker has caught it. What a catch. Every night this week Ash at 8 on ESPN Classic. If anyone's going to fall over or run into someone on the field, it's going to be Mallet. But what a great catch there by Max Walker in the end. <laughs> and it is now 203 for 9 with Asif Masood, Court Walker, Bowl Lily. And that is it. The last ball of Dennis Lilly's 12th over has ended this game with the spectators rushing the field and Pakistan all out for 205. Lilly finished with remarkable figures for five, uh, five for 34. A really splendid bowling performance by this great Australian fast bowler. Which won him, in fact, the Man of the Match award from the old Yorkshire and England bowler Bob Appleyard.